Hello, my name is Tessie and welcome to my channel. So excuse the post-gym scruff in due, it's still early. Um, but I wanted to hop on here and do like a fun spend the day with me. The weather is gorgeous, it's a blue spring fresh day and so I wanted to just like capitalize on the weather and do some fun spring content for my brand Tazim Cosmetics and I thought I'd take you along for the ride. Um, first off I actually have to get ready and also go to the post office and do some bits um, so I will tune in with you when I'm a bit more fresh and fly. Okay so post shower I'm feeling clean clean. Um, I'm just going to moisturize really quickly. So my skincare routine is super duper simple. I either just after like obviously washing and cleansing and whatnot, I just apply either olive oil or 100% natural organic sheer butter. So yeah, that's what, I mean you can't really see, but basically it's just white and like balmy. And then I get a bit, you don't really need a lot. And I just melt it into my hands until it's like very glossy and apply and I've been doing all that like you know how you can do like the facial massages sorry to sculpt your face I don't know whether it works but I don't know it's giving me like is it the placebo effect where it just like makes you feel like it's working and then I'll just roll it around circulate that blood well you know that like blood circulation to the face is a really good also i just got a coaster notification if anyone knows the app basically kind of runs through your astrological sign and or signs i should say and gives you like daily updates and notifications my one today it says are you running from expectations the simplest disagreement turns into a complex minefield of underlying intent okay so how I read that is so basically something that I'm kind of like grappling at the moment is like expectations with friends and also like my levels for them um, I find something with me because I don't want to like be bothersome and annoying I kind of keep my expectations quite low with friends not in like a bad way just in like more of a chill way but I also get in my feels. So something that I'm going through is I keep my expectations quite chill, but then when people kind of don't meet them, I'm like, oh, well, that's a bit of a bummer. Um, and so that sentence saying the simplest disagreement turns into a complex minefield of underlying intent. That's kind of how I process it, or at least, yeah, that's how I'm reading this thought for the day. Um, so maybe I need to like notch my expectations up higher and also communicate them and like set a standard. Anyway, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's my co-star for the day. I have massaged my face. She's a bit red and raw, but I like it. I feel like the blood has flowed. Yeah, let's get ready. All right, I am back. I just ran some quick errands. Well, not so quick. I went to the post office and the line was so long. It was exhausting. But yes, did the postie and then went to the grocery store and also the craft shop to pick up some bits and bobs to shoot with later. Uh, but now I'm so hungry. Like, who knew the postie was going to take it out of me like that? Uh, so I'm going to make a little tuna bowl. I'll show you what I whip up. Uh, and also like check out my little OOTD. We've gone lime slime moment with like a ripped straight leg jean. Uh, I wore my chunky black boots and like took out my little totes. It was giving farmers markets. Oh, I'll pick up those flowers. You know, you got it. You know what I mean. Uh, anyway. I'm rambling, but I will tune in with you in DOS. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kicked. 
by the way Just got in town And I won't let all right, so this is my lunch. I've got like a little salad bowl. It's got a little bit of rice underneath. We've got like, what are these called? Like whisker, angel, I don't know, hair sprout things. And then I've diced some cucumbers. I've got a little avocado. And then I've got some fermented carrots. And then I've got a spicy tunery mayo concoction. And I've got some seaweed snacks. And I might do that like, you know, infamous TikTok, wrap it all up and chow down. Okay, so I'm gonna enjoy my lunch. I've taken out my hair from the Snatch Pony just cause, you know, the temples need a break. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do some emails now and I will tune in with you when I'm doing all the content. I'm back, very fresh faced, slick hair, in some comfy home clothes. Is anyone else like me where they like get into their home clothes and like bare face immediately after being out and about? I don't know. It's something that I've like always done slash like kind of grew up with. Um, like my mum would be like, get out of your outdoor clothes, into home clothes, get clean, all that jazz. Um, it's funny because like my boyfriend, he'll literally be comfortable just like kicking it in his outdoor work clothes um, up until he showers and goes to bed. And I just, I just... I just don't get it. I just don't understand it. Like, how can you just lounge in jeans? But anyway, I'm babbling. Um, so this is my setup for shooting today. As you can see, I've got the table. Um, the day is sunny and gorgeous, so I feel we're going to get some good pics. I've got some props, so I like to use, like, scarves and whatnot as little backgrounds. And then here, can you see them? On this chair, I've also got some bits of bobs, so like jewellery and anything trinkety. And then in this a box, I've actually got the flat lace stand, um, which once I assemble, you'll see what it's all about. But basically, it's a stand that comes upright and then has a bottom, and you can kind of like pin and add things to the upright section just to mix it up a little. Um, but yeah, we'll get into it. Also, what do we think of the red I'm really vibing like a little cherry cherry nail I'm you know me I'm normally like a basic B with my nail colors but yeah I was feeling it so anyway let's get into it see what I can concoct I'm outside in a damn jeep right outside TT two turn baby girl you know me still with the dolls that I grew beside all the niggas proud of me, I had it done Gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by I'm outside in an AMG Right outside, PT Two turn baby girl This is the stand upright It's literally two foam boards That's like held up with these kind of plastic thingies on either side um, I custom did the backdrop I literally just printed a pink tile background at the local print shop and stuck it on with double-sided tape so I can easily take it on and off if I want to um, but yeah really cute I like to use the scarves literally pinning to the top and then like letting it drape so I have like a different little background. It works like as a cute little mini colorama situation. Um, I got this one off of Amazon. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's a quick little water break. You can't really see me, but the sun is sunning, so I need to wear this sun hat. Um, what can we catch up on? What's been happening? So last night was the Met Gala. Did we watch the red carpet? Have we looked up the 
the outfits I had a little look this morning and for the most part I thought people dressed really really beautifully I loved kind of the overall theme I'm not sure what it it was called gilded something was the theme um, and I don't really know what that means I have to look it up but basically it was very like extravagant and like a mix between like floaty and a bit camp and like structured tuxedo vibes or at least that's what I kind of pulled from it um, so I saw a lot of like pastel pinks pinks and like pastel tones a lot of ostrich feathers which I love so pretty and like floaty um, but then also like a lot of gold and like sequin like diamond vibes as well um, I loved um, oh my gosh what was is it Mrs. Heatherspoon or Weatherspoon? You know, like the the writer from, or the actress that plays the writer, um, in Bridgerton. Her outfit was beautiful. It was like pink and then like had like these like long feathers that kind of like were all over her dress. I loved it. Um, who else was really well dressed? Oh, the actress from Queenie. You know the movie Queenie, the like, oh, the one that like pulls at your heartstrings. Um, her dress was beautiful. It kind of was like a bit flapper girl vibes, um, with like kind of diamond sequin detailing, which I loved. Um, and what else did I watch from it? Oh, I watched a couple of like the YouTube interviews that they had. They had, um, oh my gosh, her name is Emma Emma Chamberlain Chamberlain. She's like that big YouTuber that's obviously become like the it girl now in the fashion scene. She's super young. She's only 20. I had no idea. I thought she was like a little bit older, but damn, she's doing the damn thing. Imagine this is like her second Met Gala where she's like interviewed like the red carpet and celebrities and stuff for Vogue. So huge. Um, the interviews were cute. Most of the celebrities were really kind and lovely. There was one interview that made me feel a bit orcs. Um, it's when Alexa Chung came over and like took the microphone from her and like started interviewing Emma Chamberlain but like in a very like it felt a bit condescending and a bit I don't know like she I don't know you know what it was it felt like the it girl of the early the it fashion girl of the early 2000s mid 2000s was like meeting the current it girl and she fell away like there felt like there was a bit of rivalry not from emma's side but from alexa's side i might be reading too much into it but like there was definitely an undertone of like awkward um go ahead and watch it and let me know if i'm just like over exaggerating or if there was in fact like some awkward tension um but yeah, no, I think Emma in that interview particularly handled it really well because I feel like when someone comes at me like that, I get a bit like, I don't know, I'm not very quick, but Emma, she wasn't quick, but she just kind of killed her with kindness, which, you know, the best way to do things, right? Um, but yeah, that was it really, like caught up on that this morning, just, you know, did a little scrolly scroll. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to probably leave the video here, stop, stop talking your ear off. Uh, I need to continue on with the content. Look at all this stuff. I need to organize it all. I shot with some flowers as well. And like, how cute is that picnic basket? Oh, it's picnic season, guys. I cannot wait to just be out and about with a rosé on a picnic rug, sip, sipping. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to finish the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Do let me know if you like this type of vloggy, random, fish bash of a video. And I'll continue the, to do that. Or like switch it up. Who knows? Um, goodbye. And I will tune with you.